Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT Tech channel. Uh, in our previous videos, we talked about creating custom entities and we uh, uh, created and affiliated the users and teams with that custom entities. Now, uh, in our current video, we will talk mainly about this point. This point uh, is a very common type of a point that is required for developers that are in learning stage to understand and uh, unfortunately if i search this point uh, in youtube channel uh, chan uh, various uh, youtube areas uh, unfortunately these videos are very rare about this topic so uh, i hope so that this uh, topic will be very beneficial and uh, uh, i will try to cover it in details for all those users or developers that are uh, searching for this point so security roles are the custom roles or out of, uh, out of the box default roles as well that are defined in uh, CRM and uh, about these roles we affiliate the users and teams to that particular uh, to some particular security roles so that all the settings that are defined in that security role are applicable to all the teams and users that are affiliated with that security role okay so security roles always cover a very key uh, importance whenever we uh, define them as for our custom entities and we also use uh, that uh, the already available security roles that are available as uh, in out of the box solution so after creating security roles uh, we will access entity that are defined for access in that security roles with the users of that team on uh, through which we have affiliated with that security role after that we are going to define and validate field security roles for different teams okay so uh, in our previous video you know that we created that uh, entity and now in that entity I want that uh, some teams that is uh, a team that is defined by my organization to access that entity now okay so for that purpose if we go uh, in the practical demonstration that is my custom entity that we created in our previous video and now what I want I want that some security role may be defined as a custom security role through which I can make users and team access that entity or that module okay for that purpose I will go in settings and now I will go into the security in security there is a part of security roles here I'm going to click security roles there are already available security roles in my uh, CRM or you can say in my business unit okay these are different types of security roles and uh, if I go and uh, check these security roles uh, there are uh, some roles that are already available as uh, in the out-of-the-box solution and some roles are created by me for custom purposes for example you can see here that that is the role I created in for uh, for demonstration of uh, some video in my previous videos I exactly don't remember the video name that is available in my channel uh, list so what I'm going to do now I'm going to click on new for creating a new custom role we have to click a new security role and uh, in that role I will name it as product management for keeping it rememberable I will use the prefix custom underscore product management so that I may have a better recognition and difference between the custom roles and out-of-the-box roles that is just a naming convention it uh, depends upon your organization so this is the business unit in which, uh, in which it will be used that is my uh, business unit in which uh, the uh, custom entity of product management that I created in my previous video exists so I will uh, define that security role in that business unit you can have multiple business units and you can change them as per your criteria for example there are different business units here so after defining that custom role I will click on save now there are different uh, subsections of that report for example there is a, a section that is uh, you can say uh, core records there is a section of uh, module marketing sales service business management service management customizations missing entities business process flow and custom entities please uh, keep it in your mind that uh, whenever you create uh, these sub modules have different type of controls of different uh, standards 
some of these standards are create, read, write, delete, append and append to, assign and share. For example, I define a product, uh, for example, I define a security role custom under product management in which I want that all the teams in which are affiliated with that security role may have the right of assigning as well. So I will give them the right here. So whatever rights you want to assign it, assign to define in the security role and assign it to the team are defined here. Okay. So I will talk about these in my later videos that uh, I will, I'm going to cover a separate video upon, upon append and append to topic that is an interesting topic and used in many areas of your responsibilities when you will, will uh, become the part of uh, your team of dynamic CRM uh, then you have to use this condition in many, many uh, uh, tasks so now if we talk about uh, our entity uh, and uh, these subsections that was the name if we talk about core records this is uh, different types of access right now whenever I create a new custom role by default no permission is assigned of any type okay so it means that is a custom product management that I have just created right now is a security role with no permission at all with no access rights at all and now you have to define your access as uh, a manager of uh, or a core developer okay I want that the user or team that is affiliated with that security role may have access to the custom entity of product detail only. So will this condition be sufficient or not? The answer is no. Okay. Why? If I go into settings or oh sorry custom module and then product details that is my entity. You can uh, as an admin I have access to that entity. But now in security role that I have just created here that is security security roles and uh, custom underscore where is the, actually the custom underscore this one is the custom underscore product management if in custom entities I have defined the permission of full read at the organization level in that security role but that right will not be will not suffice my user or team that is affiliated with that security role to access the CRM because my my module or entity lies under that CRM in which there are many other things that are required to be at least given the access of read for example I have to give the read access of config or data post configuration post rule and similarly some other things as well uh, profile album setup sys configuration solution component solution components are me wall, wall okay my this details to create as well write as well delete as well and assign as well or share as well okay so in that custom entity I have defined these access levels okay I want some other things as well for example in customization I want at least read access of themes I want uh, user application module I want uh, view access I want virtual data entity data source I want data source as well okay so now I will click save that I am going to click save and close and now right now I have uh, created a custom security role that is custom underscore product management now I will go into uh, the teams in which in my previous video I defined the team that was product management team if I go into the details of that team that is a team uh, that exists in this business unit and these two users are the members of that team now what I'm going to do I'm going to manage roles now the security role that we created just earlier was this one now if I check it and click OK it means that that team is affiliated with the security role that is custom underscore product management all the access level permissions that were defined in that custom role that is custom security role of custom underscore product management are automatically affiliated with that team that we have just uh, defined uh, affiliated with that 
okay i think it's fine now if all the users that are the members of the team that is product management team now can have the access of the module that is custom module and in that custom module they have the access of product details okay so let us check okay we are uh, now our uh, you can say that uh, we have defined our uh, security role here that is uh, we defined the security uh, role that was uh, custom underscore product management and that security role we defined that we can have access to that custom uh, entity we also uh, give that read access of some other uh, components as well but now uh, the question that must be coming in everyone's mind who is a uh, new to security role is that will all these uh, access levels that are defined here will be uh, uh, sufficient to access the complete CRM uh, that is its theme its module that is custom module and then only the component of that is this one okay so while loading this component microsoft crm requires some other controls as well for example it requires the charts as well it requires the filter condition it requires some other uh, workbench ribbons it requires some other <coughs> navigation themes components as well so the question is that that whenever you define the minimum access right will they all be suffice or what is there any way to uh, address them so let me show you here for example right now i have defined that all the users all the teams that is uh, <coughs> in settings security and uh, teams product management uh, this is the team in which if we uh, see that it has been affiliated with this product management uh, security role so now my question uh, uh, that must be coming in everyone's mind is that uh, these are two users and now I think that if I access these users uh, access the custom module entity with that user may have access to that uh, to that components as well so let's try <coughs> if we go in uh, I'm going to access it again R1 user 1 this one was the user of uh, my <coughs> you can say CRM team that was affiliated and this is his ID so let's validate whether he can access it or not after entering the password if I go and uh, see product details no there are some insufficient permissions okay <coughs> so this is the problem that I was going to elaborate you in detail and uh, unfortunately uh, very less videos are uh, there on YouTube to give you a better guide of how to address this problem okay because now I am accessing the custom module entity that we created earlier from the user <coughs> from that user who is the member of that team which has affiliated security role okay it means that there are some insufficient permissions in that security roles that are making this user not to interact or to open or to access the records of that entity that we have created earlier okay so now in my next video I am also going to uh, give the link in this video of my next video as well in which I am going to tell you in detail that how you can diagnose that insufficient permissions that are making your user not to access the entity that you want to make the user accessible okay so i thank you all for watching this video in which we have covered the part of uh, defining the security roles we have also uh, defined uh, the security roles we have assigned teams with security roles and now we have uh, accessed the entity with users of new uh, newly created roles and uh, after that we have defined and validate field security profiles in which we have uh, faced some errors that uh, is insufficient permissions and now in our next video we are going to check how we can access these insufficient permission logs and how he how we can address them i thank you all for watching this short video and guys subscribe my channel who are new uh, viewers to uh, stay tuned with my latest videos i thank you all.